Well, right now in 2018, we have three drugs that are FDA approved for the frontline therapy of ALK-positive non-small cell lung cancer. We have cruzotinib, seritinib, and alactinib. We have brigatinib, which is a category one NCCN guideline recommended drug, though it's not yet FDA approved. Uh, and so for the approved drugs, the advice really is, is to start with alectinib. This was compared to the current standard, another TKI, not chemotherapy, highly CNS penetrant, probably the best tolerated out of all those drugs, and, and clearly the most effective. Now when brigatinib gets approval, assuming that it will, choosing between brigatinib and alectinib will be very complex. There we might want to think about practical issues such as insurance coverage, cost, and so forth. They have slightly different toxicity profiles, and so we may want to tailor that to individual patients. But the better decision will take a little bit more time. As the data matures and we see comparing uh, these two trials, uh, long-term outcomes, but I think most importantly, the difference in resistance to brigatinib and to electinib and how we can overcome that in future lines. Uh, so choosing between electinib and brigatinib, I think they're both great options, and I think we don't have enough information to really decide which is the appropriate one up front.